let's see is uh, one of the example uh, where uh, consider uh, two sub volumes P1 and P2 filled with binary mixture of monoatomic uh, monoatomic ideal gas A and B. The sub volumes are separated by a rigid membrane and entire system is isolated. It is a rigid membrane. Let's say it is folded up to the screw. And um, initial conditions have been given. Now, what are those? P1 is 400, Na1 1 mole, and B2 0.2 moles. <coughs> Similarly, on the right hand side, these are the initial conditions. And the summation of both the volumes is 2 liter. Okay. So, what are what, what has been asked in the question? Let's see the A part. <coughs> Assume the membrane is movable, diathermal, and permeable to species B. Okay, so now the condition of this boundary is changed. So this support has been removed, so it is a membrane is found to be movable. Okay, and it is di made diathermal and uh, permeable to species B. Only B species. Okay, so as we wrote the conditions of these uh, these boundaries. Uh, as it is a movable, so pressure on the left hand side will be equal to the pressure on the right hand side by the equilibrium condition. Okay, this is this is it comprises mechanical equilibrium, and uh, as the boundary is diathermal, so the temperature on the left will be right equal to the right side. So at equilibrium condition, it will be like this. It is mechanical equilibrium. It is thermal equilibrium. And as it is permeable to species B only, so uh, chemical potential of species uh, B on the left equal to chemical potential of species B at right. Okay, this is chemical potential equilibrium, chemical equilibrium. So now solve the problem. What has been asked is uh, the composition, temperature B1, B2, B1, B2 after the equilibrium is established okay so let's take one by one let's utilize this equation chemical potential formula is like this chemical potential of component i in a, in a binary uh, gas mixture is equal to in constant tau naught plus rt temperature of the system ln partial pressure of i component divided by the reference pressure at which this is some uh, potential. <coughs> so let's uh, let's write this uh, partial pressure in terms of total pressure in mole fraction of that component. So it will be like total pressure into mole fraction of that component. Okay. So let's balance both the sides chemical potential. So it will be like Rt1 ln b1 xb1 upon p0 equal to tau0 plus rt2 ln p2 xb2 upon p0 okay p0 cancel out here p0 and also <coughs> t1 is equal to p2 at the equilibrium condition diathermal boundaries so t1 p2 r2 r left out with and then P1 X B1 upon P0 equal to and then P2 X B2 upon P0. So take the anti log both the sides and pressure is also equi uh, equal. So it will come out to be and P0 P0 it will come out to be X B1 is equal to X B2. Okay. So let's write uh, over here. N mole is n, n number of moles, small n number of moles of B has been transferred from here to here. So it will be like this 0.2 n plus n upon total moles. Total moles will be 1 plus 0.2 plus n. So it will be 1.2 plus n equal to let's say n moles have been transferred from this to this. So it will be uh, 1.3 sorry uh, 0.8 minus n 
Quantity minus n upon 1.3 minus n. So solving this, you get number of moles of B has been transferred. It will be around around 4.6, 0.4267. Also, B that have been transferred from compartment two to compartment one. So we can get X V one. So it will be like we can calculate. It will be point two plus eight, point six 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 seven, and divide by one point two plus point. Four six six seven, and similarly you can find x seven one minus x v one, and so on. Similarly, x v two is equal to point eight minus point four six 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 seven divided by one point three minus point four six six seven, and x a one also. Okay, now we will work out on volume. So easy. Write the ideal gas equation. P one equal P one V one is equal to N one R P one for each compartment one. For compartment two, P two V two equal to N R N two R P two. Dividing the dividing the both equations as pressures are equal and temperature is R. Uh, so These are the final answers. X one is equal to point four. X two is equal to point four. V one is equal to four by three. V two is equal to two by three meters. Okay. Now let's work out for temperature too. Temperature too. Okay. Uh, in BV for the NRT, you know V one, you know N one. You don't know T, you don't know P. Okay. Now you get. You know, I thought I taught you the equation that the system is isolated and the U one plus U two will be. Constant. So, as I told you, what U one plus U two was initially equal to U one plus U two at final equilibrium state. Okay. As stated clearly in the question that the the gas is monoatomic ideal gas. Monoatomic ideal gas. That means U is a function of temperature only, okay? And Cv is equals to three by two R, okay? So, so every question, the, the words in the questions tells you a lot, okay? So U one plus U two at initial equal to U one plus U two is equal to final. Let's write U one initial. U one means uh, let's say there. Will be three by two R into N A one plus N B one times temperature. Okay, plus three by two times R into U two N B N A two plus. V two T. So this is initially number of moles initially. C two V one plus C two finally. So it will be like V two R into N A one plus N B two N B one. As temperature on both the sides are equal, so we'll substitute by T only. Okay. Plus V by two R. And B two T okay, final. So to distinguish from this to this, we let us put the dash sign. V one dash, N one dash, N one dash. As is uh, memory is impermeable to air, it will be N one equal to N one dash, N two equal to N two two dash, and N B two and N B two dash will be different as these amount of Number of moles of B have been transferred across the boundary, and we can get easily N B one dash and N B two dash. You are known with the temperature T one dash, T P two, and left out thing is just uh, the temperature. So here 
from here equation you can get easily 80. It will be 296 Kelvin. Okay, so applying the ideal gas equation T1 V1 equals to N1 R T1. You know V1, you know T1, you know N1, you can get P1 at left hand side and you can get P2 at left hand side. Okay, so it will come around, both are equal, 3.07 mega Pascal. So it's all about problem. Okay, now analyze problem number B. Where the membrane is fixed, okay, Ma now membrane is fixed, it is diathermal and permeable to B. And given the condition, V1 is equal to V2. Okay. So V1 is equal to V2 and V1 plus V2 is equal to 2. So V1 is equal to V2 will be 1 liter. Okay. That's not our actually motto. Our motto is to find X V1, V1, V2, and T1, V2. Okay. Again, as the membrane is fixed, so we can we can't tell about the mechanical equilibrium, how the pressures will be around. This compartment and this compartment, but the diathermal is the boundary. We can say about T1 and T2. T1 and T2 will be equal, equal to some let's say temperature T. Okay. As the membrane is permeable to B, again we will have mu V1 equal to mu V2. Okay. What more? The mode is mu1 plus u2. Initial is equal to u1 plus u2 final okay let's work out with these equations let's take this again okay from this equation we will get finally partial pressure of b on the left hand side partial pressure of b on the right hand side so it will be like this b1 x b1 equal to b2 x b2 okay we don't know about P1, we don't know about P2, we don't know about X V1. So let's get another equation from, from ideal gas equations. Okay, let's write it as equation number one. And write another equation. P1 V1 is equal to N1 R T. Because the final temperature is T. Okay. P2, V2 is equals to N2, RT. Okay, so from here, your V1 is equals to V2, so it will cancel out if you divide this equation and temperature they are equal, we will cancel out. So P1 upon P2 is equal to N1 upon N2. Okay, so we got this equation. Equation number 2. We have from P1 upon P2 is equal to N1 upon N2. This equation. Let's utilize this equation, equation number 1. XV1. We can write. We can write P1 into XV1 like NV1 upon NV1. N1 equals to P2. NV2 upon N2. Okay, P1 upon P2 is N1 by N2. So if you, if you see from this, if you take P1 here and N1 here, you will cancel out this. Okay, so we will just left, left out with NV1 is equal to NV2. NV2. Okay, so this is the equation. So again, assuming that N number of moles of B has been transferred from here and there, so we will get uh, like this. What are the number of moles initially? 0.2. Let's say 0.2 plus n. Okay, what are the number of moles of B here? 0.8. 0.8 minus n. So from here you will get n. 0 0.6, 0 0.3. Okay, so 0.3 number of moles have been transferred from compartment 2 to compartment 1. And easily you can uh, now get xv1, xv2. Okay. Now, uh, now, let's work out for temperature. Again with the equation, this. Okay. So, our NV1 will be 
point two plus point three will be point five, and x b one equal to point five upon total number of rows, it will be one point two plus point three one point five, so it will come out to be point three three three. Okay. Similarly, x b two and b two will be point eight minus point three point five. X B two will be point five divided by point five plus point eight one point three one point three minus point three one so it's equal to X B two is equal to point five. Okay. Now for temperature thing, we'll do U one plus U two initially equals to U one plus U two. Finally, okay, let's write. D by two R is common, and one point two T one plus one point three T two. Okay, equal to D by two R. At the temperature, both the sides are equal. Finally, so T and the final number of moles one point two plus one point three to one point five plus. One by three minus one three, one. So working out the temperature, T one is four hundred, T two is two hundred. We get T is equals to two ninety six. Okay, calculate. And then simple by ideal equation, V one V one equals to N one R T. You get R N. You get N one. You have V one equal to one liter. Okay. You can get pressure P one, and it will come out to be three point six nine megapascal. Similarly, P two will come out to be two point four six megapascal. So that's it for the problem. And uh, if you have any, if you want any more topics to discuss, just comment in the comment box. So we'll get, so we'll get to know which topics you want to learn. Thank you.